Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my last video for genetics. Today, we will be talking about phylogenetic trees. Now, most of you already know what a phylogenetic tree looks like, but this is the kind of tree that we are going to be talking about today. For our phylogenetic tree, I have grabbed a bunch of earrings off of my earring tree. So when you come back, I will have a full-fledged phylogenetic tree for you guys. And voila! Here is our phylogenetic tree made out of earrings. Now, let me walk you through it, and I'll talk about some terms that you might need to know. So our earrings, all down this row, are going to be considered our OTUs, or Operational Taxonomic Units. OTUs are units that we analyze that we separate into a phylogenetic tree, based on how long it takes for them to diverge. They can be anything from species, to strains of a virus, to different alleles on a gene. Now this type of tree is called a rooted tree, meaning that we can see the order of divergence of the OTUs, and we can point out a common, an common ancestor between all of the OTUs. In order for us to have the rooted tree, tree, we need an outgroup that connects all of the OTUs, or earrings in this case. So here we have this big dangly earring as our outgroup. And this outgroup has diverged much earlier than these other earrings. Now there are two types of evolutionary change going on here. The first one is anagenesis. This is evolution within a lineage over time, and that is designated as a straight line, as you can see right here. We also have cladogenesis, which is the splitting of a lineage over time. And as the name suggests, it creates a clade of OTUs, and it is usually pointed out at a point of divergence. We can also consider this point to be an internal node. At the internal nodes, we can find most recent common ancestors. So for example, at this internal node right here, this includes three different earrings. As you can see, they're all animals. So the most recent common ancestor of all three of these OTUs would be located right here. Here is a close-up of all of our OTUs, just so you can get a better understanding of what I was going for when I made the tree. So when making this tree, I designated this big dangly earring as our outgroup, because it was the biggest and it was the most different out of the group. And so then going from there, I made another clade of dangly earrings and studs. I started with the next biggest and I separated that, and then I saw this earring and I thought, oh, it's a little more fancier, so it should be in its own clade. And then I saw all of these animal earrings and I thought, well, they should all, they seem like they would all be related. So they are all in one clade, as we talked about earlier. In this smaller clade, we have two kinds of owl earrings. And so they are, this clade is designated as the owl clade. Now going into our studs, as you saw earlier, I separated these two because they seem to be more fancy and they would be used for a more formal occasion. These other two studs are a little more casual, especially our wolf pack one. Go pack! I hope this video helped, so thank you guys for listening, and good luck with all of the other genetics things you do in your life.